Okay, I don't normally make videos like this where I sort of just play games of Skywars and commentate over them because, well, mostly my commentary is just completely garbage. But I felt like this this video topic was important enough that I could just make a video on it and also I just sort of really wanted to make a, a quick video about it. You know, me being the guild review man and doing all those sort of should you join blank guild series, this, this is actually uh, pretty relevant to some of the videos that I've made on this channel. Essentially, what has happened, if you were not already aware, is that there was a huge ban wave on Hypixel that basically banned a bunch of people that were uh, boosting, stat boosting, profile boosting, even uh, Skyblock, IRL trading. You get the gist of what I'm saying. People stat boosting, people profile boosting, stuff like that, you know. Things that are obviously not allowed, but have not been super banned. Like, they've been pretty relevant problems on Hypixel, but then just out of nowhere today, like, just the freaking community gets Thanos snapped. I don't even know what happened. One of the big ones, the Offensive Guild, OFN tag, like, I think almost 80% of their guild got banned. Maybe more, I'm not actually sure, but it was crazy. Crazy. I think very few people know actually what exactly happened, so there's still a lot of details that are up in the air that people don't know about, but from my understanding, I think some staff might have just been keeping track, or there might have been like online forum reports or something, but I, I, ge I genuinely don't think this was just like, you know, a bunch of forum reports or anything. I think staff were keeping track, and then they just did a massive ban wave. The Hypixel forums exploded, as it tends to do whenever something of this magnitude occurs, and a bunch of people on the forums were talking about how they got false banned, and I'm not entirely sure how much of that is legitimate, because the reason that people were banned- Oh, account sharing is another one of the reasons. I forgot to mention that before. Wow, they really banned and people for like everything, Jesus. I didn't realize Hypixel was gonna have a Judgment Day level ban project coming in, like holy, oh rip that guy. So if people get banned for account sharing, boosting, um, like IRL trading and stuff like that, how much of that can really be false ban? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, maybe you could like make some sort of argument that you got like put into someone's Skyblock scam scheme or something like that, and then you got IRL trade scammed or something. I, I don't even know, but I, I feel like it'd be very hard for the admins to false ban you uh, for IRL trading and boosting. It's one of those things that you have like a pretty significant amount of evidence for, and it's it's pretty easy to ban someone for that. Certainly a lot of the OFN players were uh, definitely worthy to be banned. I'm not trying to be like mean about that or anything. I'm just saying, well, they did account boost, so you know, technically it is a worthy the ban. So, I, I I don't honestly know. Dude, there are so many kills I'm getting in this game. By the way, I don't want to, like, start drama over this or something, because, you know, at the at the end of the day, it's like, you got banned for something, it, it doesn't really affect me, why should I care, why should I be toxic? I'm just like, okay, cool, you got banned. Weird flex, but okay, so, you know, we're, we're just, <laughs> we're just vibing with things. I mean, who knows, though, maybe people are getting false banned for account sharing and profile boosting. I don't know, I mean, anything is possible on the server. Welcome to Hypixel. But I do think this idea of this just massive ban wave is actually really really good for the server because account boosting and, you know, IRL trading, especially with Skyblock, have been really big problems, actually, for Hypixel, so it's good that we're sort of putting our foot down. I hope this is, like, a step in the right direction because these are, these are just problems that have been way too present for the past year and a half, and it's time that they stop. All right. <laughs> Both shots. Oh, later. <laughs> Nope, there's someone behind me! Holy crap, that did six hearts! <laughs> OFN is one of the more well-known guilds on Hypixel, especially in Skywars, so the fact that almost all of them got banned, you know, it is going to tell a lot of players that, you know, <laughs> they're gonna start banning for boosting and stuff. Is that gonna, you know, completely eradicate the problem? Probably not. In fact, there's probably still gonna be boosters and stuff like that because it happens, but I hope it is a step in the right direction because there are things we need to fix in this community. God, I can already tell that the moderator and admin DMs are just going crazy right now. People trying to get unbanned for things, you know how it is. I can tell that the appeals are going to be very busy over the next couple weeks. Honestly, I do feel bad for Hypixel, just the overall scenario with, with Watchdog and bans in general, because if they turn up Watchdog, right? I know I know a lot of people complain about Watchdog, and this is, this is unrelated to boosting, by the way, just watch Dog in general. I know a lot of people like to dump on Watchdog, like talking about it. it's a terrible anti-cheat and it's for the most populated server, but Hypixel doesn't want to do anything. But if you think about it, if they start banning more people, that just means more work for the admins and moderators because they have to go into the forums and appeals and they have to go through all the people saying they got false banned when in reality a lot of them were real banned. Maybe there are people that got false banned. You know, when you turn up the settings for Watchdog, it just means that there are more people that are going to get false banned. Everyone likes to talk about, oh, this server has like amazing anti cheat it bans everyone within seconds but watchdog can't do anything but honestly like those are smaller servers first of all they can get away with more stuff we have a lot more laggy people on hypixel that you know another anti-cheat might 
accidentally fall spin, who knows? Plus, sort of anti-cheats like G-Cheat and, and other well-known anti-cheats, they're just not made for high pixel. honestly. They're made for smaller PvP servers. That being said, there are definitely things that we can do to improve Watchdog, and I think that's something that the admins should look into and are probably looking into at the moment. Certainly, clients are improving day by day, so it's impossible to make an anti-cheat that'll just always work. But you know what, man? I respect the effort, and I also kind of do feel bad for the staff team. Rip that guy. That being said, we do need to fix Watchdog, though, because there are way too many hackers on the server. Anyway, that about sums up my rant about boosting and overall just, you know, being banned on Hypixel. I think it's a step in the right direction, honestly. This community could could use a lot more consistency. Is that is that is that a word? I don't I mean, is that a word that applies to that? I think it'd be cool if this was like a step in the right direction towards Hypixel being a little bit more strict about their rules and stuff like that because you used to be able to get away with a lot of stuff on Hypixel. Hopefully this is a step in the right direction and I know a lot of people are going to be afraid to boost and account share now because of the massive ban wave that just happened, which which is good. That's very good. I just hope this is a a, a movement forward. I might also do a few more videos like this about the state of the community in the future because there's there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. I'll tell you that much and as, as as the guild review man, I think it would be pretty well suited But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll have like an actual upload in eight hours it'll, it'll be pretty pogged trust me and also I have a freaking government AP test in 12 hours Which is which is gonna be interesting. I should probably study more for that. Let's be honest, but um wish me luck and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye